Good morning. This is Reverend Pam Gagan in Camarillo, California with the Center for Spiritual Living, Pleasant Valley. And it's wonderful to be with you today. I'm actually at my daughter's house babysitting. So this will probably be uh, a very uh, short, <laughs> a very short, short uh, meditation. But I just want to know that you know that we're still on the Lotus and the Lily working towards our soul day where we get deeper and deeper into who we are and sometimes it's a paradox uh, because it's both we look at the wonderful truth in both sides of a paradox there's the good side and then there's a flip side also and so when we look at the wounded truth uh, in both sides of the paradox, we see that as we pull away, even a little, even for the right reasons, we many times uh, think it's our fault. If we're in a relationship and we want to pull away, we still sometimes think, oh, it's our fault that things aren't going well. And it's, this is about relationships and falling out. And yet, when you fall in love with someone, you have to remember that when they fall out of love or you fall out of love, the heart knows what the heart knows. And it is time you probably split from one another. So the message here today is that it proves that there really is only one person who needs forgiving in both sides of the story of relationship, whether you're pulling away or they're pulling away. Sometimes we think, well, if I had done more or if they had done more, and both are true probably and it's one person who needs the forgiving and of course that would be you it's never about the other guy the first wound the greatest wound and the hardest to heal is within you and so when we go within and we recognize that in this oneness we are together in this and taking care of the soul deepening the soul I love Anamkara meaning uh, uh, the, the care of the soul is what Anamkara is. When we take care of our soul, we look at both sides, we come into that balance. So when you connect, have you noticed during these meditations that when you connect to your guides and angels every day, these moments continue to expand in and through every part of your life. They expand and become a vehicle for guidance, wisdom, and grace. So look at any past love relationships that you feel need forgiving that have left your life. Have you ever looked deeply enough to see both sides of the story? When you shine the light into what really happened, where both of you were probably uh, wanting out more than you realized, can you see that where you could have loved more and where you could have been more lovable? And that's what it's all about. There is no sometimes right or wrong. It's about not standing up for the self and also uh, not loving the self enough to get out. So, uh, and also not about loving the other person. I uh, was married before and were a childhood sweetheart, more or less, and I never loved him. I never liked him. I was afraid of him. And uh, when he left, finally, it was like, oh my God, at last I'm free. And I saw him, uh, oh gosh, after 45 years of splitting up at a high school reunion, of course. And when he approached me, he just said, you know, I've always loved you. I said, oh, how wonderful. And he looked at me, he said, does that mean that you never really loved me and you wanted out? And I was floored because that was the truth. And it took his courage to step away after 10 years, by the way. And so I said, I looked and I thought I could be very painful right now and say, I was afraid of you. I was never going to leave because of the fear. And I took a deep breath now as a minister and a more mature spiritual person. And I said, you know, we were both so young, we really didn't know what we wanted from life or each other. So look at both sides. And now we're going to go into this deep meditation before Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood is over from uh, with my grandson. He's totally uh, uh, attuned to this right now. So we're just going to take that deep breath in where the God is on the in-breath. I am on the out breath. 
and then two more silently. And know with me today that as we go within and we affirm, I am seeing both sides now. As Joni Mitchell said, I've looked at life from both sides now, and now I see that there really was no side at all. We're in this together, so as we open our hearts and our minds, our bodies, and most of all, digging deeper, we look at the complete picture, knowing there's nothing to forgive but ourselves and our feelings about maybe someone else, which still comes from us, our mirror. And if you can see it in someone else, as the Buddhists say, if you spot it, you got it. It lies within you. So letting go of that judgment, seeing both sides, and moving forward today, fully present, fully feeling loved, fully loving, and recognizing that there is divine timing, divine appointments, and that everything that is happening in our lives is for the greater good, whether you see it in the moment or not. So as I leave you with a God is, I am, I say peace out, namaste, <laughs> namaste, have a bliss blessed day, I'll be back fully with more uh, Lotus and Lily tomorrow, working toward our soul day. Blessings galore, Mwah! have a bliss blessed day, love you, bye.